All right, hello. Uh, today, addressing some, what well, they call them hypothetical viewer questions. I've gone to chat GBT because you guys aren't watching or you're not leaving comments for me. If you are watching, it's day 29. We've got one day left today, tomorrow, and it's been an interesting experience. So today's to address some questions and get prepared uh, at the end of it. I've got a list of questions made out that I'm going to answer about my progress, how it's gone, how I've enjoyed this experience of talking to the camera every day for 20 days. And then it's review day tomorrow. We'll wrap that all up. But this uh, this exercise is in going through these structured questions. So let's get at it. Uh, let's see what we've we got. The question here is, what was the most unexpected challenge you faced during this 30-day talk to the camera challenge and how did you overcome it? Well, uh, what was the most difficult challenge? I guess actually being able to get it done every day. The most difficult challenge was getting it done consistently every day. I I even missed a day, uh, technically missed two. I missed a day just because uh, I can't remember now. And then the next day I had to play catch up. And by the time I went to play catch up, one of those two days, it was midnight. My phone was going flat. There was no way of recovering. And I had to do three of these and fake it in a single day. Other than that, I've been absolutely consistent throughout the whole 29 days. Challenge, uh, another difficult challenge I found was sometimes doing prep. Uh, I adjusted a few of the exercises as I went through it because doing prep to do an exercise like this is a barrier to entry. Uh, and it taught me a lot from doing that, that these videos do require preparation and uh, there's a balance to be had between just coming in and free for all, throwing these out there and doing a proper scripted edited video. Interesting thing that I've learned is that being able to just talk to the camera like this is really, I, it works for me. I find I can just sit here and speak to the camera, but then I get worried about the quality because when I want to make a video, I want the, I want the scripts and the, the, the difference between delivering uh, a scripted video and doing a free to speak to the camera and like this is quite significant and I've got to get used to the editing of that. There's so many psychological barriers to overcome yet. Uh, I've seen some people just go out there and do five reels in an afternoon, plan a video, organize it, script it. Doing all that, I'm finding still a barrier to entry. It reminds me of when I was learning to play guitar, I already knew how to do it and there was just this mental block. Now I'm glad that I overcame that because it was just a matter of get in there and do it. So in the end, it's what it came down to. But there was no way I knew that until after the fact. Um, move on to the next question then, shall we? Can you share a moment during the challenge that was particularly rewarding or enlightening for you? Oh, being able to get comfortable with it, I'm doing that now. I'm finding this... That was particularly rewarding. Yeah, being able to actually speak to the camera, like the first time I thought I was doing an okay job, but seeing myself improve very quickly over the three of those, it'd be fascinating to go back and have a look. I haven't done it. Um, my apologies, but I've been flat out for the past few days. You would have seen my update yesterday about dealing with these computer issues. <laughs> I woke up today and realized there was one more problem I had to solve, and that's taken my whole day today working through that too finally got it finished and I've had a moment to breathe and get back to this. So what's been rewarding is seeing that I can actually get comfortable and learn to speak to a camera like this and it's not that hard. You get used to it. It's, no, it did feel very alien in the beginning. It really did. And now I just talk to the camera and that idea of being able to speak to the camera like you're speaking to a person, it's hard to almost pinpoint exactly what the learning experiences are because once you get them, once you're accustomed to them, they just integrate. Well, this is from my experience. And then um, there's a disconnect between what I didn't know and what I do now. Memory is a fickle thing. So, you know, I think I'm way more comfortable at this, way simpler. You can see the arms and the R's have improved a lot. I'm more aware of that and what's going on. So here we go. Let's see what the next question is. How has your approach to public speaking or presenting changed as a result of this challenge? Um, I've definitely got more comfortable. Uh, learnt to just get straight into the, well, I've been trying to just get straight into the videos, not get into a big fluffy intro, just start talking, right? Uh, so it's not, hi, welcome to my video. This is day 29. It's more just, 
hey, get in there. Um, the big thing, I keep leaving this too late into the evening and then everybody's in bed before I finally sit down and get stuck into this and I'm finding that I can't put the same kind of energy into it that I'd like to and that's something I might need to work on. I really want to keep working through this exercise and do it some more but I need to have a think about how I'm going to approach it because it's been an excellent exercise to sit down and practice this on a daily and do it every day but I want to do some other exercises, some more targeted things. And so I'm thinking rather than do a talk to the camera every day for 30 days type thing, do it more of every couple of days and then alternate it and have a bit of a prep and some planning and put some more aspects to it. I'm even considering going and grabbing a lot of other people's videos and I even had a go at this and grabbing their script, turning that into a list of bullet points and speaking to that, just going to practice speaking from bullet points and making my own videos just to save me the time of having to come up with scripts. So it's a little plagiaristic, I guess, but doing it as a purpose of an exercise, um, is a great way to get some practice and get used to what kind of things go into the scripts. I think it's a great practice exercise and I don't see an issue with doing it for that reason. Um, I think it's a great idea i'm gonna so it's, i've got resistance to doing that too and i'd rather create my own videos i've got some the work i've been